Bill Panoff here with Porthole Cruise and Travel. A Norwegian Cruise Line revealed its newest ship, the Norwegian Prima. And wow, will this be an exciting ship. After waiting 10 years for NCL to release a new class of ship, the first of six ships will be 960 feet long, 142,500 gross tons, and able to accommodate 3,215 guests at double occupancy. Here to talk more about the exciting news is the president and CEO, Harry Summers. Harry, great to have you here and congratulations. Well, Bill, th thank you so much. We're super excited and, and thank you for having me on your show. For, of all the things happening right now, tell us what's the most exciting thing about the Prima class ships. You know, I, I'll, I'll, I can't narrow it to one, but I'll, I'll narrow it to two. I'll, make, I'll, 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 I'll try to do this in two key points. You know, number one, we're really excited about the space. You know, we, we went out to design a ship that gives our guests more space everywhere, more space in their staterooms, more space in the public areas, more outdoor space. And we think we really succeeded. Th this ship has the highest, what we call in the industry, space ratio of, of, of any of the ships in the premium and contemporary market. And, and it really shows it. it's not just on paper. We actually actualized it in an experience that's going to be great for uh, for, for our guests. So we think our, our guests are going to be super excited. I mean, to put it in perspective for our fleet, the ship is just a couple of points smaller than Breakaway and Getaway. Um, but she holds about 800 less passengers. So if you can just imagine the the, the sheer uh, uh, variety of amenities uh, and things that we've been able to accomplish on the ship, some of which we can talk about today, some of which we'll talk about in the next few months. It's been simply incredible. The second thing that we're excited is 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 really around design and, and beauty. So this this is sure. the first ship that Frank Del Rio, our group CEO, has been able to design from scratch for the NCL brand. And obviously he has an incredible reputation designing beautiful ships for our two sister brands, Oceana and Region. They're simply stunning. And the work that we've done uh, with, with our creative teams, uh, 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 architects, uh, interior designers, really led by Frank, it is nothing short of stunning. So I was in uh, Italy last week uh, oh, wow. uh, to view the, uh, the mock-ups, uh, the public spaces, the restaurants, the outdoor spaces, and it's just simply stunning. So I think this combination of space, amenities, beautiful style, it is really, it's, it really elevates NCL to the next level. One of the most popular spots on Norwegian ships, obviously, is the Haven. And on board the Norwegian Prima, it sounds like it will be more exclusive and private than the Breakaway Plus class ships. Is there something, is that something that guests will value? You know, we, we think so. You know, we, we, we've had rave reviews from the Haven on, on, on all the ships. I think 11 of our ships in the fleet currently have a Haven complex, this ship within a ship concept where, where guests have their own private lounge and restaurants and butler sure. and concierge service and, and really get treated to a, to a, a five star plus experience. Uh, our, our guests really, really are happy. And, and you know, the, the only challenge we have is sometimes we're sold out. And we said, okay, if we get to start with a, with a well, not sometimes, we're always sold out of the Haven. Sometimes we sell it like super quickly. Uh, right. uh, and if we figured if we got to design this from scratch, we can make a much larger percentage of the, of the ship. So this is by far our largest Haven complex. It's gonna span over seven decks uh, uh, in a self-enclosed area in the back of the ship with private elevators. It, it, it really takes it to the next level. What led you uh, to the decision to include a fall, a food hall style marketplace on board the Norwegian Prima? You know, it, Norwegian has always been well known for having a huge variety of dining options. Uh, uh, I, I think on some of our newer ships like the Encore, Bliss Joy, we have up to 30 dining options for a guest, which on a typical seven day cruise is is really unprecedented. It allows them to have like four meals a day and never repeat, uh, which we really like. And we said, okay, how can we take that to the next level? So we will still have a large number of, of, of regular and specialty restaurants on board, although we're only announcing the first three of our specialty restaurants as part of this announcement. And in order to give guests even more upscale food choices, we, we didn't want to just uh, uh, improve the buffet. Buffets are nice, uh, but buffets, you know, the quality of food can only get to a certain level. We want sure. to give people a, a much more upscale area where guests have food choice. So we took the entire back third of deck eight and have turned it into an indoor and outdoor venue uh, uh, with, with, with lots of these choices. And this, again, this is not buffet food. This is freshly prepared food for our guests. We're gonna have uh, uh, a Q, which is our, uh, our restaurant concept we have for barbecue. We're gonna have Latin, we're gonna have 
uh, Spanish tapas. We're going to have a wow. Starbucks there. Uh, we're really pleased with our partnership with Starbucks uh, for our guests that like that fix. Uh, uh, we're going to have dessert bars, ice cream, uh, uh, healthy salad places, really anything guests can imagine. So if you can think about 11 dining options, plus three specialty restaurants in the middle of the ship, Las Lobos, our Mexican uh, restaurant, uh, uh, um, Anda by Scarpetta, our Italian restaurant, and the local, which is sort of our casual British type uh, pub there. So 14 dining choices, just on one half of one deck. You can wow. imagine this is really gonna be an extraordinary uh, uh, experience for our guests of, of upscale places to eat. Harry, you're getting me very, very hungry, honestly. I'm, yeah, <laughs> my you, mouth, you know, my mouth Bill, is watering. Uh, I, I think we talked about this the last time we got together, but one of, one of the burdens of my job is they call me in to do food tastings. So I, I've been able to taste the new menus uh, on about half of these venues already. And I can tell you, they are gonna be outstanding. I, I can't wait to welcome guests on board next uh, August to experience this themselves. Is there an extra seat at that table by any chance? B Bill, you know, you know, you are always, always <laughs> invited to come, Bill. So we- uh, we, we, That would we, be amazing. That invited. would be really cool, actually. Yeah, no, I, I, I think so. I think so. And, and, you know, it's really this combination of, you know, great food, great ambiance. You can envision 270 degrees of, of sea view, you know, both sides yeah. of the ship, uh, plus the back, indoor and outdoor seating. It's, it's really going to be something special. Of all the restaurants on the Prima, what new restaurant are you the most excited for in particular? You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Indian. Uh, uh, and, uh, uh, um, you know, it's, it's really a concept, you know, a lot of these concepts, you know, we, we've done some version of them on, on our other vessels. So, you know, I love Q, I, I love Tapas, I love Las Lobos, I love Anda. Uh, but, but if your question is specifically on new, you know, I'm a huge fan of Indian. And we always had a few Indian options in the buffet, which are nice. But, you know, right. this is a genuine, you know, uh, uh, Indian part of these, this upscale food hall. And, and my wife doesn't enjoy Indian, so I don't get to have it often in my private life at home. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll look forward to enjoying it on the ship. India. Open spaces seem to be a very important concept in the design of the Norwegian Prima. Um, can you describe the process of making more space in an environment where space is usually at a premium? Sure. You know, I, I, I think it really starts with what your, your view on the guest experience should be. And, you know, we've seen so many new builds recently that have just tried to pack on more and more and more cabins and, and really limit the space to, to what I would sort of call this indoor mall type concept, mm -hmm. where everything mm -hmm. is sort of inward looking and with a little glitzy. And, and we didn't want that same experience for NCL. You know, we, 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 we opted for fewer cabins and more outdoor space because we believe people take cruises to see the ocean uh, and, and see the beautiful ocean and, and land views as, as we approach ports each day. And, and we really think we succeeded. So, you know, this concept of not only having a lot of deck space on, 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 on the top deck, which most ships have, but also creating this, this, this large amount, large square footage of outdoor space on deck eight. Uh, which, which we're terming Ocean Boulevard, I, I think is really going to be stunning as well. So we actually have 40,000 square feet uh, of outdoor wow. space surrounding all surrounding the entirety uh, of Deck A. You know, the, the wow. indulged food wall that we talked about, uh, it, we have infinity pools and a, an area that we're calling the infinity beach, which is the area around our, 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 our numerous infinity pools. We have glass uh, bottom uh, uh, walk walkways on both sides towards the uh, the front. We have a $2 million sculpture garden uh, where wow. we have original artwork, uh, which is simply uh, uh, stunning. And then we have, we have a, a section in front, uh, a quiet section in front for sitting and just uh, 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 viewing the, uh, 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 the outdoors towards the front of the ship. And we think this combination of spaces is really going to make this the new happening place. So we'll still have a lovely pool deck, which we're not talking too much about today. And we'll have right. you know, lots of the amenities and excitement that we're known for in our top deck. But this is really a, a slightly more quiet and upscale area on deck eight, which we think our guests will enjoy. And then we've also added more outdoor space for our haven complex. So, oh. so we have a, a, a separate... Uh, a pool area, spa, and a separate infinity pool on the aft of the ship uh, uh, for Haven, all the way up on deck 17 and 18, which I think our guests will, will appreciate as well. Sure. The new ship will have 13, I counted 13 unique suite categories, including a three bedroom stateroom. Why so many? Well, you know, NCL is all about delivering choice. 
You know, we want to give our guests choice to stay in the in, in the stateroom suite category that that that's right for them. And, and, and we think we hit it here. So listen, you know, the majority of our, of our staterooms are gonna be the standard outside balcony staterooms as you'd have in any ship. But, but in, the, in the upscale space, we really want to give our guests the choice to find the accommodation that works best for them. And I'm gonna tell you, Bill, I mean, I, I, I think we shared some of the renderings. I, I, I think the, the, the suites- They're gorgeous. Are just, yeah, yeah they're, they're, thank they're, you. I'm glad you said it. <laughs> no, they're absolutely very, so tastefully done, really. Well, kudos to, uh, to your team there, for sure. The whole of the ship, and painting the whole obviously is a staple with Norwegian. Italian graffiti artist Manuel Dorito was tasked with creating the whole art. How did that partnership come to be? I think he's originally from Venetian, if I remember correctly. So we, we have uh, a full-time uh, art, con art connoisseur purveyor on our staff uh, uh, that, that works directly with, with, with myself and Frank Del Rio and Robin Lindsay, who, who does our uh, ship operations. Uh, and works with us on a regular basis. And her and her job in its entirety is, is to scour the earth to find the best art for our fleet of what will soon be 23 ships. And, and, and you know, because we have a full-time person doing this, she really has the opportunity to look at lots and lots of different options. So I, mean, I remember going through the process with her and Robin and Frank earlier in the year uh -huh. where, where she presented like four or five different options. And I got to tell you, Oh, fantastic. Uh, we, 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 in fact, we like them so much. We, we, we didn't only pick the hull artist for our first uh, uh, Prima ship. We also picked the hull artist for our second ship, which we're not announcing yet. Uh, oh, but she wow. gave us such good options that we, we, got, we got two done. Uh, uh, and, and the work that PETA did just is visually stunning. And you know, when I was in Italy last week, I, I had an opportunity to actually visit his studios. And you know, it's really strange times. Like normally one wouldn't pick art on Zoom. Uh, right. uh, but, you know, unfortunately, back in January and February, not too many were people were traveling, so we had to. So, like, you know, you go into your studio, you go, well, I really hope it looks as good, as good in person as it did on, on the Zoom uh, 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 meeting that we did. And I was just blown away because there, there's a certain 3D aspect to it that, that you really only see when it's live. So, so while the renderings cool. are nice, you, you will really, you know, get the full, the, the full, uh, what's the, word? the full impact of it. When you see it in person, you know, not just on the side of the ship, but the hull art goes up the superstructure in the front of the ship oh, as well. Wow. Uh, it, it's it's really going to be stunning. You know, I, cool. I, I think this is something that NCL is is known for. And, sure. and like with many other things, we've now on the premium of taking it to the next level. The first sailing start in the UK and then head to the Caribbean and then to Northern Europe. Which itinerary are you uh, mostly uh, looking forward to? The christening. <laughs> uh, I can't wait for the christening. Although I don't think we're announcing what that christening itinerary is yet. Uh, uh, it's going to be absolutely uh, uh, stunning. So I'm looking forward to that. But, you know, I think the key thing is, is not so much what I'm looking forward to. You know, since this is the first of six ships in its class, we right. wanted to get this ship to as many places as possible. So we're, we're going to be doing, uh, um, you know, um, I guess you would call them familiarization cruises for our media partners and our trade partners out of Amsterdam, Southampton, New York, Miami, Port Canaveral, uh, Galveston, which is a first for us, and really allow us to showcase this ship in so, I think New York, if I didn't mention it, and really showcase the ship in, uh, in so many different places to the widest possible audience. We want our guests travel agent partners and, and, and our media friends to really be, be excited and be able to see this fir firsthand. So we, we look forward to that. Well, the readers and the viewers of Porthole are super excited. The industry is excited. Everyone's excited about the launch. Harry Summer, president and CEO of NCL. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Bill.